Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to look at adding ladders, and we're also going to expand our level ever so slightly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, you know, start working on level expansion. So we're just going to grab this, and we're just going to drag it over. So that what you see over here is just a, uh, actually we're gonna, ah, we're on grid size four and I'm gonna undo that and we need to be on grid size 16. Okay, boom, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna make some walls here. Actually, you know what? I think we can safely leave it just like that. And we're just gonna go to browse and we're gonna select our wall. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to hit shift B to go into our brush and we are going to um, just, you know, extend our level just a little bit, just so we have a little bit of room uh, to work with. That should be good. And then we'll grab from, oh, of course. There we go. And we'll just drag down to here, hit enter. And we'll just keep going in the top view here since we kind of already have everything, uh, you know, relatively set up there. Okay, now let's look at how this is going. Yeah, this is going pretty good. Okay. So what we want to do is we're just going to uh, effectively, all we're really going to do is, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. And we're just going to, once again, same thing. We're just going to, this is just going to be the end of the hallway here. Okay. And now we are going to make the floor and there are a couple different ways we could do this, but we're just going to click on this here and then shift B, make sure we're in our brush tool or our block tool, I suppose. Okay, man, we'll just hit enter. And we left a gap. Oh, no. I, uh... I clearly meant to do that. All right, let me make sure there's no issues here. Ah, yep, see? Bad, 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 bad. Okay, so we'll just... Just kind of plug that in there like that. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And we'll just you know, go through as we do and just fill it in. And then fill that in. Now, what we want to do now is just quickly do the roof. So much like before, we will just actually, you know what, let's do it from the top here. Where is that thing? Ah, right. It's like way, way over there. Okay, now we want to want to bring this over here. Okay, and we just want to drag this over. Hit enter. And hit enter. And hit enter again. Okay, that did not work because uh, <clears throat> we forgot to deselect and then reselect, which you know reassigns everything. There, yep, there it goes. All right, we're we're good now. We're we're doing fine. Okay, so now that this is done, let me explain um, a little bit about what we're doing 
around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a ladder somewhere along here. You can put it anywhere you like. And then you'll run down this hallway. And then you'll get to here. And you'll go out this way into a large open area. And we'll, we're going to work on like terrain and skyboxes and other stuff in this area. However, we're actually going to have two ways up here. So in the next tutorial, or one of the tutorials, it may not be the next one exactly, uh, we're going to go out this way, and it's going to be another route to getting up to here, and we're going to expand this, and when we expand it, you know, it'll be kind of like uh, this over in here where, you know, you'll be up high. Um, because eventually what I would like to do is, for those of you that have played Left 4 Dead 2, you're probably very aware that Director can sort of like change and alter paths to a certain degree um and i would like to experiment with that in a way later tutorial um and so that's why i want this so like you know you might come out here and the top is blocked you know so you have to go this way or you might come out here and the bottom is blocked and you have to go out this way or you might come out here and hey both are available and you're just like very confused but the next thing we want to do is we actually want to add in a ladder so just going to hit shift d or select the entity tool and we are looking for prop underscore static. And we'll just double click. We'll go to the world model. We will type in ladder. Uh, it's quite a bit of ladders here. Um, let's go for the wooden ladder. I like the look of that thing. Okay. And then we'll just zoom in. And um, this thing's kind of almost perfect. So let's just, yeah, perfect. Like it's okay if it hangs off a little bit at the top there. That's, that's totally cool. I mean, I can make it flush and go into the floor, you know, whichever. Now I'll put the grid back to 16. And we'll just hit apply. And we we'll cancel. And then we'll just save it. And now we're going to go back to the brush tool. Now, in order to make a ladder, ladders are actually really, really easy. Um, you know what else, though? We might want to check, you know, before we, you know, actually get around to, like, I don't know, making our ladder here. Uh, we should probably lower our uh, grid here a little bit and get our ladder uh, maybe a little more flush with the, the wall there. Ah, you know what? I'm really glad I checked because, yeah, on the Z here, we want to rotate that by, like, 180. Because, yeah, we kind of want to flip that. Because, you know, we're... Uh... There we go. Yes, that... Eh, no. No, not really a fan of that. Hmm. I mean, I guess at this point, you know, there is such a thing as being, you know, too picky. Um, see what we got here on this uh, side view. Hmm. I'm a little little torn on that because uh, it looks kind of weird. I guess I'll go with that and then I'll just grab it and pull it down so it's flush. Okay. So now we'll go back to 16. So like I said, ladders are really easy. So all you need is to define a brush as a ladder and then the other phases of the brush as no draw. So the best way to do it is to first do no draw. And then you want to select this one right here, the first one, tools, no draw, double click it. And all we really want to do is just drag this so that it is completely and utterly flush with the ladder. So you just want it to be the same size, height, all that sort of stuff. I don't actually know where that thing went off to. Ah, oh, it's over there. Of course, it's over here. Wait, where is this thing at? 
Ah, it has no. I'm not really sure where this thing is. Um. It's... Oh, I didn't have the brush tool selected because of course not. There we go. I was getting very confused right there. Um. Also, I just realized, is this thing? Oh, good. Great. Yeah. Lovely. So this this is perfectly centered for 16. Um, joyous. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go through and correct that at a later date. Um, so I'm just going to leave this. So this is some of the fun stuff that, you know, can happen to you. So anyway, we'll just hit enter on this here. And then we'll select the toggle texture application. And then you'll just want to make sure that the front is centered or not centered, sorry, selected. And then you just want to go to browse and then you want to type in a ladder and you want to select the ladder and hit apply. Okay. So that's all we have to do for the ladder. Um, we could actually bring this in just a little bit so that, you know, it only applies when you're a little closer. Uh, but the next thing we want to do right now is we want to raise the floor up ever so slightly. Uh, and all these floors need to be raised. Uh, the good news is, is I'm not really going to touch the walls any. Um, I'm just going to move these up one. And I'm just going to leave the walls where they are for now anyway. So now everything's pretty you know, much there. So I'm going to go into our entity tool and I'm going to select a light. And I'm just going to go through, put one there. And we'll put another one there. And we will just drag it up so that it's... Okay. Let's get out of the habit of just doing that, please. Thank you. There we go. All right. And the other one is well, it's literally right in front of me here. Where? Oh, where is it? There we go. And we'll just raise it up. Okay. Won't be a lot of light, but it'll be enough that we'll be able to see. So now we're just going to run this and then it'll load eventually. Okay. So since I have a moment here, I just want to say that, you know, Again, I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but um, we're going to cover the Vertex tool a bit more in depth because there is actually a lot of stuff you can do with the Vertex tool. Um, but when we do eventually do the Vertex tool, it'll be for this area here because I have some ideas for some stuff. So all we want to do here is go up the ladder. We went up the ladder. We can now go down the ladder and back up the ladder. And we have a fully working ladder. It's really that easy. Like adding a ladder is one of the easiest things ever. Now, of course, one thing that needs to change, of course, is the lighting. You know, this this needs to be set to 100. Um, and then, of course, you know, when we go into here, it's like, oh, my, it's bright. But again, eventually this will be opened up and will be much, much brighter uh, once it's opened up and the lights moved over and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so that is super, super simple. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm not 100% sure what the next one will have, uh, but slowly but surely, we are slowly working on, you know, creating a full-fledged campaign map. It won't be the best looking. That job relies with you guys. Uh, I'm just showing you how to actually build it. The actual aesthetic part is entirely up to you. You can take these tutorials and make any kind of mission or map you would like. Um, if you have any comments, you know, post them down below. If you have any questions or anything like that, also post them down below. Or you can join our Discord. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can become a member, uh, which nets you early access to videos and a whole bunch of other stuff. As well, um, if you would like, you can, you know, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell there. And, uh, you know, you'll actually get notifications for whenever I post videos because that's always lovely. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.